Packet cauliflower rice is the subject of today's food for thought video. Hi, my name is Jody Bunting and this is a daily live health tip. Now, I spoke about the sweet potato rice. Today we're cooking with the cauliflower rice. Now, what is so special about this cauliflower rice? Cauliflower rice has been out for like ages, but this is not fresh, which is a negative thing in a way, but also it's a positive thing because we all know what it's like when you buy fruit and veg you end up throwing some of it away or some of it doesn't taste too good. But the good thing about this cauliflower rice is that it keeps. So for instance, I haven't checked the exact date. This one keeps until uh, 15th of the 10th, 22. So over a year, which is really great. And as you know, for those of you who regularly shop in Aldi and stuff, uh, call it fresh cauliflower and broccoli rice at Aldi is seasonal. So they only have it in the winter. So, so having something like this in the middle aisle in the special buys is gets me excited sorry but it does uh, it is 150 so it is a bit more expensive uh, than the fresh one but as i said this is something you can keep in your cupboards and have it there as an emergency especially if for instance your family are having a takeaway with a curry and stuff like that and you could have some of this just to cut down some of those calories therefore you're still feeling like you're having something nice but what I'm going to do today uh, is stir fry it. Uh, I'll just go through the uh, packaging to tell you the highlights. So 87% lower in carbs than white rice, which is the main reason uh, people have this. So it's naturally vegan, 100% plant-based. I'll go through the ingredients in a moment, which is really exciting. Uh, 20 calories per 100 grams, and this is a 200 gram thing. So I'm going to have this whole punnet. Uh, so that's 40 calories. Amazing. So good. Uh, carbs in this. Uh, let me just have a look. Four grams of carbs per 100 grams. So there's only eight grams of carbs. So for those of you who are on a low carb diet or keto, trying to eat 20 grams of carbs per day minimum, uh, then there's only eight in this whole packet, which is good. Um, and the most amazing thing about this full green brand is ingredients. Cauliflower. That's it. Obviously what they must do is uh, when they close these packets in the factory, because if you put some cauliflower uh, in a bag for until uh, the 10th month uh, next year, it would go brown. So obviously what they do is they do put some air in there, some chlorine or something in the air to actually keep it fresh. So there is something in there that's not, that's not desirable, uh, but the actual ingredients itself is 100% cauliflower, which is great. And as I said, just having something like this uh, in your packet, in your cupboard for the special occasion, not special occasions, but occasions where you need low calorie rice, and that's good. Okay, so let's get cooking. As I said, today I'm gonna make a little stir fry. So I've got a wok. I've got a nice high heat. Um, you could just, the instructions are just to dry fry it for two minutes in a pan. So I could just literally dry fry that if I was having a curry or something else. But because I'm making a stir fry, I'm throwing in some coconut oil, which again is from Aldi, 150 for a nice big pot of that. Um, just make sure that it is cold pressed, extra virgin, and 100% raw guys. So those are your tick boxes when you're buying uh, coconut oil. It's also organic, this one as well. Right, um, so I'm just heating that up then. So really important to have a nice hot pan when you're doing a stir fry. Uh, so I'm gonna start by throwing in some mushrooms because these need more cooking than my prawns and the cauliflower rice. Obviously the cauliflower and the prawns are I don't really need to that, but I do like a little bit of colour to my mushroom. So I've just got those thrown in there. I'm also going to add a little bit of flavour. Obviously, because I'm using some oil, the cauliflower oil, I'm going to get some flavour from that oil. But I'm also going to add some uh, chilli and salt from the grinder. So that coconut and chilli sort of stir fry is delicious. And I think some people rely on sauces too much, guys, especially for to soy sauce, especially for stir fry. Sometimes you just need a little bit of soy sauce. Uh, obviously, I've highlighted before the dangers of processed soy. Um, so the more you can go for just natural oils and flavours is the best thing. 
Okay, so those are absorbing my coconut oil. Just waiting for the pan to heat back up. You can see I'm just going to be serving this with a little bit of iceberg lettuce, which I've got ready over here. I think, so I'll put the prawns in first. I'll just drain, these are some large, <coughs> large elder prawns which I have defrosted overnight. So I'm just draining those off a little bit. Again, when you're stir frying, if anything's too wet, it just slows down that whole cooking process. Oh, one of my prawns is tossed up. I'll try that on. Nice. Okay, so prawns, mushrooms. The only other thing I'm going to add is my cauliflower rice. Again, for those of you who missed the other video, it is GMO free uh, when they make their cauliflower. It doesn't smell too appetizing. You can see it looking, it's looking a little bit brown. But let's pull that in. It actually does look like egg fried rice <laughs> from the Chinese. That's good. Right, so let's get that in. Now really important not to overcook this because it is cauliflower, it's quite delicate and obviously it will go all mushy. So this literally needs two minutes like it says. The pan's cooled down, so I'll use this opportunity to get lots of chilli in there. I do love hot things, so I'm going to add lots of chilli. This is chilli and salt, this one. And as I said, that combination of the coconut oil with chilli flakes is magical. And the other issue when you overcook mushrooms is it goes really watery as well, as does frozen prawns. So this is another reason why you should make sure you don't Cook, overcook these two products when you've got them together. If you didn't know it was cauliflower, you'd actually think it was loads of garlic. It <laughs> looks like I've got loads of garlic in the pan. Hi Kay, hi Aaron, welcome to our live video. I'm just cooking off some prawns, some mushrooms and some cauliflower rice. The new cauliflower rice in the special buys at Aldi. We've got the, in the pan here some coconut oil and I've just added some chilli from the chilli grinder. Just going to add a little bit more. And that is like done because as I said the water's coming out of the mushrooms now so I don't want that. Right, so you can see, that was done in like super quick. How many calories? <clears throat> I'll work out the calories afterwards on my Instagram stories, but just literally a couple of hundred calories, that's all. So there we are, guys. I would probably say 200 calories, Aaron. So there we go. So we have the coconut rice with prawns, mushrooms, and it's making me sneeze <coughs> because of that chilli. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and enjoy that. Um, I didn't get a fork out ready, so I will just try a little bit of the cauliflower rice because I forgot to try the potato, uh, sweet potato rice. Delicious. I do like cauliflower rice. But that's it guys, as always I'll be back in the morning for a workout. I might be back later with another video. Bye for now.